Hello everybody, welcome back to more Spy Fox Free Operation Ozone. We've gotten one of the ingredients for the congeal pill. We got the number, wrote it on a pirated copy of Lemmings, and then gave it to... Uh, gave it to the... Uh, what's his name again? Play-Doh Pushpin. We gave it to Pushpin. He gave it, he put it in the, the capsule, but... We still gotta get the pizza, we gotta get the pearl, and we gotta get the gum. So... <laughs> Here we go. But before, obviously, we can't do that until we listen to some groovy tunes and get our Get Psyched playlist started. For your pies only. racing motorcycles in my condo complex when it's this snowy out do you seriously not have anything better to do i have baked with all the best and cooked with quite a few but none of these high hatted folks can hold a wisp to you for your pies only All right, let's try I-5. It's getting up down here Underneath all this sun I'm burning up down here And I'm telling you it ain't no fun So many clouds of stuff Released into the air I'm telling you right now It's warming up and it ain't no fair Stop burning up the ozone They put way more effort into these songs than they needed to, and I love it. Did they record that song in like the last 24 hours when we discovered this was happening, or was that just an eerily prophetic song? You decide. Well, now that we have the megaphone, let's return to the lake and we should be able to actually talk with the guy who's in the fishing boat. Hello! Could you give me a ride out to the pearl farm? Haven't caught a single fish all day! Not even a nibble! I don't think that fisherman heard a word I said. That's weird, because we heard exactly what he said. All right, here you go. Ahoy out there! I need a ride out to the Pearl Farm! Would you mind? Sure, why not? Fish aren't fighting anyhow! <laughs> That's always how it goes, isn't it? Shouldn't have told everybody about your fishing spot. Whoops, sorry about your megaphone there. My name's Herman. That's okay. My friend Cookie was done with it. My name's Fox. She got the new bike Spy now. Fox. I'm on a secret mission to... Hop aboard. I haven't got all day. Tell him about the secret mission that you aren't allowed to tell anybody about while he drives you over there. Or he just has the fastest boat in the world. Dang! Thanks, Herman. Poodles Pearl Farm. I'm getting close to that pearl now. <laughs> Herman's Herman's enjoying retirement in style. He's like, I've been, I've saved up enough money in my job. I'm buying the fastest boat in Europe slash Asia. <laughs> nice job. That was close. That looks like one of Poodles' goons. I better not let him see me. Is that supposed to be a duck? Because that's the weirdest bill I've ever seen on a duck. It bends both ways. What is that? 
What is that? That odd duck is one of Poodle's goons. I can't let him see me. I can't sneak past that duck guard. I need some way to keep him from seeing me. Well, thank goodness Poodle's employed a That's duck guard. Otherwise, this would be a much shorter game. <laughs> Let's just see how that malicious mallard likes Professor Quack's duck blind gadgets. Duck blind, don't fail me now. Better hope there's no breeze. I walk right past that guard. The duck blind impaired his ocular nerve center. In other words, he didn't see me. I'm in the oyster house, but look at that mountain of mollusks. I'm going to need help picking a pearl out of this pile. Yeah, we are. That's where the other spy gadget will come in handy. So just take all of them. He'll never know. He'll never know. Anyhow. This pearl detector will find the shy shellfish who's hiding the pearl I need. Dane. Some of There's these pearls. No pearl over here. Wow, how is this I'm how is this colder. making sense? I'm getting colder. I'm getting colder. These pearls. What the heck? Warmer. It's like a whole I'm civilization inside of these oysters. There's no pearl over here. There's a. F I, I must caught be a getting fish. closer to a pearl. I'm getting colder. I'm getting warmer. What the heck I'm is getting this? Warmer. This is the I'm weirdest thing since Mr. Utterly's stomach. I must be getting closer to a pearl. There we go. There it is. Okay, oyster, don't be shellfish. Hand over that pearl. <laughs> How's the duck not seeing this? Hmm. Eureka! Just ask got politely. The pearl Plato Pokemon needs for his congeal pill. Also, the duck blind doesn't mean the duck deafness. Like, he can still hear you. Okay. <laughs> Professor Quack, could you make your spy gadgets last a little bit longer? While orbiting high above the Earth, Poodle's Galore's aerosol onslaught continues. In only a matter of hours, my special blend of aerosol will have completely destroyed the ozone! The sun will then beat relentlessly down upon the Earth. <laughs> All the little darlings will scream for my sunscreen! Poodle's brand SPF 2001! Then I will not only be the queen of cosmetics, but the undisputed ruler of the world! <laughs> oh, I'm starting to shy. Wow, it's been a <laughs> We've gotten quite a while without actually being seeing one of those. There are three of those that can happen throughout the game, and, uh... It's just so happened we got the- it's supposed to- you're supposed to get one of those cutscenes every time you get one of the ingredients, but you don't get a cutscene after getting the- the disc number, so... Yeah, we've just- we've been holding off on those to the end unintentionally. Whoops, my bad. As- as far as villains goes, I think Poodles Galore is probably my least favorite of the shore, Spybox man. villains. That doesn't mean she's bad, though. But she- she can't hold a candle to William the Kid or Leroch. <laughs> They're both so hammy, and I love it. Well, Poodles was kind of hammy as well. <laughs> Thanks, Herman. All right, wait, let's say goodbye to the lake. I don't think we ever have to go back there again. All right, let's go to the jungle now. Because we should have everything we need what? to go into Chickle Beach. It's hot here. It's not so much the heat as it is the humidity. Amen, Spy Fox. Humidity makes everything seem either much warmer than it is or much colder than it is. <laughs> Nothing worse than that damp cold. All right, here we go. Man, we had like a golden amulet and a pearl. We were loaded. You didn't have to climb all the way back down, Spy the Fox. Amulet worked. I'm in there like swimwear. We're, we're literally just gonna walk back up and go inside. Do 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 do. No missing do, ancient do. amulet or mythic hieroglyph code can keep this spy out for long. Now to find that chickle. Who would have thought these ancient South African, like, Mayan civilizations had the power for automated buzzsaws that have lasted this long? It's truly astonishing. Those metal monsters look like they could make mincemeat out of me. Well, this is why we need to pack that rust buster. Those blades may be sharp, but I've got the edge. 
have a dose of Quack's Rust Buster, you bad blades. Quack's Just like real life. Oxidizer literally busted those blades with rust. That's how rusted blades work. You can just blow them away. Oh, pulling the old Mario strategy. I found the chickle. It appears to be penned in by that gate. Well, with a little creative problem solving, I'll have that chickle in no time. There are also jewels up there, but apparently nobody cares about those. Also, that's a big nosed man. That's the chickle Pushpin needs for his congeal pill. That rope is attached to the gate that is holding the chickle. Pulling down on that rope will lift the gate. But how am I going to get up there? I suppose this is the part where I should mention the different paths. So, the getting the number from the aerosol can and putting it on the disc, as well as getting the chickle, is exactly the same every single time you play. However, the other two ingredients, there are two different possibilities it can be. So right now we have the pizza and we have the pearl, and there are two other potential things you can get. But we'll save that for Marty's route. If this wasn't a spy toaster, I would never be placing anything other than a piece of bread into it. Good. But it is a spy toaster, and I am a spy, so here goes. <laughs> Wa-bonk! At last! I have my piece of chickle! It takes more than an ancient civilization to outwit spy... Uh-oh! Yikes! Where did that come from? That's why you watch where you're going. Man, I rolled them all the way. That was close, but I got out of that pickle with the chickle. Chew on that, poodles galore. Ho 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 ho, how witty. I was destined to be the reigning baroness of beauty. Even as a child, I knew how to accessorize. She went to the same school as Sport. And that guy. As a teenager, I started experimenting with making my own blush and sunscreen. of which were far superior to the major brands. And from there, Poodles could not be stopped in her rise to the top of the cosmetics world. She was there to take advantage of every major cosmetic catastrophe. The compact crash of 97. The Bay of Polish in 98. But now she has gone too far. What will happen when Poodle's arsenal of aerosol breaks through the ozone layer? Everyone will either baste themselves with my SPF 2001 sunscreen or broil like lobsters. As they say, live and let fry. That's the name of that song in the jukebox. <laughs> it's a common saying now, apparently. In case you didn't know, Poodle's was the villain. Well, now you do. Also, why are there these, like, movie studio lights here? This, what? Are they shoot, are, are shooting a movie? Is this where Indiana Jones 5 is being filmed? What made you decide to go into the field of gumatology, Trudy? I'm fascinated by all the gum flavor possibilities. I want to start my own brand of meat-flavored gum. Trudy's double meat gum, I'd call it. Gummy meat goodness, eh? Uh-huh. How about mint-flavored? So, you're studying to become a gummatologist, eh? That's right. I'm doing my thesis on chickle viscosity and flavor retention. Fascinating. Okay. See ya. Doop de doop de doop doop doop. Well, we got the chickle. It's two more ingredients we can get to push pen. But we still gotta get that dumb old pizza. It should be the easiest thing. Like, how hard is it to just get a prickly pear and throw it onto pizza? Apparently, all prickly pears are like, nope, you can't take it out of the, the African desert. It's like, really? But it's for pizza. Have you ever tried prickly pear pizza? It sounds disgusting. Well, it does, but don't knock it till you try it. <laughs> Here is the chickle, pushpin. There you go. Ah, the chickle. 
Its gummy quality is vital to the congeal pill. Makes sense. Gotta get those chemical reactions. Now, all I need is a prickly pear pizza from the pizza shop. Mmm, delicious! A freshwater pearl found only in the oysters of the lake. And then I can complete the congeal pill. All right. Well, we got the pearl at least. There you go. I had to muscle this pearl out of a selfish shellfish. But here you are, Pushpin. It's real. What a superb pearl, Mr. Spy Fox. It's a weird shape. Pearls are normally spheres. Now all I need is a prickly pear pizza from the pizza shop. Mm, also, fun delicious. fact, everybody. Pearl, and you know what? <laughs> pearls are like one of those really valuable gemstones, right? Pearl. You want to know what pearls are? Pearls are generally a grain of sand covered with oyster saliva. <laughs> no joke. That's literally what they are. <laughs> and that's my birthstone. For some reason. Yeah, not the coolest one. Probably the dumbest one, to be honest, but well, I don't know all the other birthstones. My sister Marty has emerald as her birthstone, which is really cool. I, I, which month is which month is diamond? I forget. It was it February for diamond? I don't know. Whoever has diamond as their birthstone, you're lucky. I've got <laughs> I've got oyster saliva sand as mine. <laughs> okay. Gotta get the prickly pear somehow. It's vital to my mission to get a prickly pear. Now there's a fine looking one. That's the same one that you got last time. Yeah. Wouldn't you prick yourself picking it up and not putting it in your pear. tux? That's what I would assume. So we can't just carry it through that uh, x-ray machine. So what we have to do, this plank here is stuck. We're going to drop it on the plank. Have a nice trip. See you next fall. And now we can leave. And they don't care. They being the one pig. The prickly pear on the board will now float under the x-ray, go down here, and because we've diverted the water so it goes into the tiny reservoir, normally it would go in the gorge, but now... Bada beam. One of the more clever puzzles in a humongous entertainment game, I must say. I can now get the prickly pear pizza pushpin needs for the congeal pill. I wish my tux had a prickly pear pocket protector. This thing. Maybe for smart. next mission. Maybe for next mission. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Quack, instead of making spy gadgets we don't need, maybe improve my tux to give it more capabilities. I don't think so, Spy Fox. <laughs> That would takes too much money. <laughs> but how are you getting the money for all of these spy gadgets? Well, considering most of them are just like, it's cheese and crackers. <laughs> they don't cost as much as you might think. Hello, lady. I got the prickly pear for you. Here you are, Pia. A juicy prickly pear fresh from the desert. Can you bake me one of your special prickly pear pizzas now? Of course. I'll have that ready before you can say... Hooray for Hollywood! Hooray for Hollywood. Well, that was a lie. There you are, Mr. That Fox. was very fast, Freshly made though. prickly pear pizza with extra simulated cheese. Mmm, yeah. yummy for your tummy. Simulated cheese. Thank you, Pia. It's just what the scientist ordered. You mean doctor? No, I actually do mean scientist. Well, he needs it for the pill, so there you go. Wow, she made it that fast, and there's a lot of mechanical sounds. Back on Poodle's not good with the pizza. space station, we find she has called a meeting with the highest muckety mucks of the cosmetic industry. Sable Keen, the top boss in blush. Mary Eyeliner, winner of the 1999 Smelly Award for the perfume, You de Pew. Thank you for coming, darling. I invited you here today because together you represent the company. 
I mean the cream of the cosmetic world. But now, you are going to become the cosmetic supplier to the stars. Oh, it's so nice to have those perfume posters out of my pink boodly hair. Now I can get on with cosmetic domination. That seemed unnecessary. How is... How are we not sending the military after this lady? She, she's clearly a menace to the entire world. It's like, nope, we gotta rely on Spy Fox to do it all. It's like, well, I mean, <laughs> you're in good hands, but also Spy Fox is a little bit busy selling Girl Scout cookies right now, so... <laughs> oh, well. Oh, yeah, that's another thing. The Girl Scout cookies, there are a couple of different uh, kinds you can get. So one of the types is, like, coconut curry crunches, which you have to give to the beaver in the jungle. I think there might be one other type, but if so, I forget what it is. I wish there was a type that you had to sell the, like, monkey penny or something, but alas, there is not. All right, man. Final ingredient for the congeal pill. You've been waiting long enough. Well, I risk bee stings and scalding hot cheeks, but I've got the prickly pear pizza. Push pin! That was a vital ingredient for the congeal pill. Yes! Without the pizza's nourishing qualities, I would have collapsed with hunger. So you didn't actually need it? That is the final ingredient. Now I can finish the congeal pill. Dude, we could have ended the game a couple minutes early if you had done that. I know there's not much time, but time is money and all that. It was probably revenge of us blatantly hitting him with the bowling ball. Here you are, Mr. Spy Fox. You must toss this pill directly into the aerosol inside the orbiting aerosol can. It is highly Easy. unstable, so I would not waste any time getting out of the aerosol can. Got it. Pitch the pill and ditch the can. You should take this with you, Spy Fox. It's a Swiss spy knife. It's got a fork and a toothpick. That will come in handy if I'm ever caught dining without utensils. <laughs> it also has a pair of chromium alloy high tensile strength wire cutters that can cut through sheer metal. Why wouldn't you start with that one? Well, it's probably more likely you're gonna be eating dinner without utensils, Spot Fox. After all, the bowling alley doesn't provide any. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> Where do you keep going? I keep seeing you jump into that giant bowling pin, but then, like, where do you go? Ah, you know, don't worry about it, sport. That's just gonna make me worry about it more. <laughs> Alright, going back to outer space, where Putt-Putt's on the moon. Joop. All right, next stop, end of the game. Here we are. Oh, let's let's call Monkey Penny Monkey right here. Do you stand by? The mission is going a little slow, Monkey Penny. Do you have any advice? Don't forget about Quack's spy gadget, Spy Fox. Right. I'll keep that in mind. Cool. All right. All right, Poodles Galore, it's been fun, but we're about to foil your plot. See you later. Poodles Galore, your dog day of ozone depletion has departed. What? No, I don't think so. Ain't she good? either, darling. Just who are you anyway? Fox. Spy Fox. And in the name of Spy Corps... <laughs> I hereby place you under spy arrest. <laughs> That's the best, the best photo. Oh no! It's Ace and Champ, I, I mean... I warn you that I'm an expert in cock doodle food. It's pro and winner. It's the real winner. And the real day. Correct. Well, this don't look good. Gotta love it how she. That steel net will keep you out of trouble. Now to finish my cosmetic caper. Gotta love how she throws well, in the trash can on my side and not on her side. Find steel mesh this time. I have to get out of this steel net and get that congeal pill back. All right. Well, hmm. Nothing much to do but call for help. Please stand by. 
the mission is going a little slow, Monkey Penny. Do you have any advice? Don't forget about Quack's spy gadget, Spy Fox. Oh, right. good. I'll keep that I have a mind. fork. <laughs> well, Spy Fox, I know that the utensils came so much in handy in Spy Fox 2, so I just made them again. Poodles galore, do you want to buy a box of dill pickle drops now? <laughs> okay. Maybe there's something in Quack's Swiss spy knife that will get me out of this fine mesh. And uh, maybe I can use the toothpick the to pick my I've way ever seen. out. Well, that leaves the chromium alloy high tensile strength wire cutters that can cut through solid steel. I hope they work. You should have used that first. That did the trick. Now I need to get back the congeal pill. <laughs> what if we need the fork later on in the game, Spy Fox? Did you ever think of that? Come on now. <laughs> oh, Spy Fox, what a ham. I love it. I'm glad today wasn't garbage collection day. This time I'll be super ultra sneaky when I toss this into the aerosol. Yeah, don't don't announce what you're doing before you do it. First rule of being a hero and a villain. All right, here we go. For realsies this time. This time I'll keep my actions to myself. Congeal, kill. Uh, how do you like them apples, poodles? You fool! The aerosol is highly unstable. The whole thing is gonna blow. Oof. <laughs> now you know what they mean when they say the skin of your teeth. <laughs> I can't let Poodles get away. A crazy villain like her should be behind bars getting the best rehabilitation my tax dollars can buy. Yeah, but if we fail to actually follow her, then uh, we actually get the bad ending, believe it or not. <laughs> Just pull yourself up, Spy Fox. I used to play the... I've got to get out of here. Ooh. Thank goodness all the aerosol on the Earth is gone now. So she blasts to the moon and we blast back to Earth. Ooh, man. Must say, I'm not a fan of that change that George Lucas made to Episode 4, Special Edition. For your semi-spectacular deeds of daring do in destroying the orbiting aerosol can, I present you the pretty big award of reasonable merit. Thanks, Chief. Next time, I'll capture that poodle's galore for sure. But right now, I'm dog-tired. Ha ha. And for beating that, we can, uh print it out, I guess, if we want, and cut it out, but eh, who really cares? Yeah, so there's actually a good ending and a bad ending in this, much like in Spy Fox 1 and in Spy Fox 2. So, if you're in that part, uh, if, and you either, if you either fail to click the arrow to leave the area, or if you press escape to skip the cutscene, you will get the bad ending, or the bad ending, or the less good ending. But in the future, if you actually click the follower, then there's a sec there's like a final part of the game that you can go through, and then you can get the good ending. But we'll be getting the good ending only when I play with Marty, so you're gonna have to join in for that if you want to see what happens in the good ending. It will we catch Poodles Galore? What's she gonna do on the moon? We're gonna have to figure that out next time. Is she in league with Putt Putt or Mr. Firebird? Well, all those answers will be ans all those questions will be answered in Path. Two, which you definitely are going to want to tune in for. Path two is going to be great. There's go it's going to be there's going to be some of the same stuff, but it's also going to be a lot of new stuff as well. Should be a lot of fun. Marty will be here. She has a great co-commentator, so definitely tune in for that. <laughs> and yeah, we get a, an awesome credit scene with holographic monkey penny, which is kind of interesting. We'll get more on that, I suppose, next path. So thank you for watching, everybody. Path 1 was, went off kind of without a hitch. It was definitely fun. I really enjoyed this game. It's been a very long time since I played Spybox Free, so 
Getting to play this again was definitely a lot of fun, and of course, the fun is only just beginning. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope to see you for Path 2. It's gonna be a rip snorting good time. My videos of Marty are always hilarious, so definitely look forward to that. And until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless. It's getting hot down here, underneath all the sun. I'm burning up down here, and I'm telling you it ain't no fun. So many clouds of stuff. Released into the air I'm telling you right now